Hi, it's Twisted Art. This is Angela. And today I'm going to teach you how to paint a seascape. Very easy. I am using a 25 by 20 cm uh, can stretch canvas, um, which is literally 10 by 8 inches. You can use any canvas or even art paper if you'd like. Um, I like stretch canvas because with the frame and how it's stapled like this, it's uh, ready to go. You can hang it on a nail on the wall. So it's very easy. Um, I have three brushes that I'm going to use. So we've got the um, one half inch brush, which is interested art parties. I call this the money, mummy brush. Okay. And then uh, we've got baby brush, which is uh, quite a fine detailed brush. Um, and uh, this is the middle brush in uh, I like it because it's got that if you look at the fibers it's just quite fluffy and it helps when we're doing um, plants and and uh, trees all right now the colors that you're going to need for this um, is um, we've got primary blue here in fact you could use any blue uh, you want uh, I've got white and we've got burnt sienna. So the white is quite important here because it's going to help. We're going to mix it with a bit of blue and we're also going to mix it later with a bit of um, burnt sienna to create the uh, beach, the sand. All right. So we start off by just dipping, dipping the brush in a bit of water and then we're going to mix in a tiny bit of blue here, a bit of white, just a tiny bit, and then tap, tap, tap. I've also got some kitchen towels here. Now, what I want to do is I just want to mark out what, how, um, where, where the sea is going to be and where the beach is. So I'm just looking at it and I'm going, right, okay, somewhere around here, Holding the brush like this, I'm just going to do a line. I'm going to draw a line. My hands are shaky for some reason. Okay, it's one of the first um, videos that I've done. A bit nervous. Just want it to be a little, slightly less. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, this is where the trees are going to or the shrubs are going to start so i want to do i'm going to do a little tiny wee line like this and then sort of like an angle i'm just going to come down okay like this it's just going to go like this okay once you've done that very easily just do it doesn't you know as you see it's just a bit rough it's just guidelines to help you um plan your painting otherwise once you've done you know you start painting the cloud the the sky and then you're like oh my god where where is the where is that where the trees are gonna go so this is really just easy now for the clouds just dipping my brush into a bit of water. Okay, I'm going to pull up a bit of that white. Mixing it nicely. Okay. Some more white. Tiny bit of blue. I'm just testing to see what colour I want for the sky, what I'm going to be happy with. So I'm just adding a bit more giving it a bit slightly darker blue i think i want the sky to be a bit darker than the sea so i'm going to add a bit lots more blue okay i'm quite happy with that now all right so i'm just going to add just a tiny bit of water more just to Okay, so you see that I've I've worked all around that blue and the white, 
so I've got an even color all right because if you just do one bit then you realize that I've run out of color and then when you mix it again your blue is going to be very different so it's important to have to know that you know to make enough mix enough color to ensure that you have the right the same tone otherwise it's going to be different so I've got quite a bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to straight away just start painting nice even strokes just getting as much of that blue as possible don't have to be too controlled or detailed here because you just want all the color on your brush to be absorbed by the canvas Now I'm starting to feel that, see it's, it's, I can feel that there isn't enough on the brush, so I'm just going to take a bit more. A bit of water. Bit of water here just giving it a bit tiny bit of cover because this is where the trees are going to go so i'm not too bothered about getting a very thick layer of that blue okay All right now i do like to i like to paint the sides as well so as i said you this is ready to this will be ready to hang so it always gives you that sort of wrap around effect otherwise it's just got you've just got color on the edge and then you've got the white canvas you don't really want to leave too much canvas surface exposed because in the long run they can grow a little get a little yellow so it's to protect the canvas as well and get a, a tiny bit of water like here as i said i don't really care too much about it being too nice because you just you just want a bit of color there okay done that's done okay all nice and done a tiny bit more okay perfect all right now i'm just going to get let that dry just a, a tiny bit and um now I'm going to go to the water. The water is going to be a, just a bit lighter. So I'm just going to pull in a bit of white into the side. I'm creating this. You just have to mix until you feel you're happy with the color um, I feel that it's too close to the water oh, sorry to the sky so I'm going to add some dark green we're going to use this for we're going to use this for this is dark green okay oops we're going to use this for the trees or bush afterwards but so i'm just going to pour in a tiny tiny bit into my palette okay this is all i need okay now i'm going to add this oh look at that that's beautiful isn't it tiny bit of green Makes it a bit turquoisey. Just more water. If you're not sure, now I've got a lot of paint on my brush. Okay, if you're not sure, just use your kitchen towel. See what it's. 
quite nice, isn't it? Okay, cool. Okay. Right, let's go to the water. Let's go back to the the edge of the sky. Oh, beautiful turquoise water. Okay, then we'll just go do the sides. in a bit more water just a bit more water to my mix so what I'm doing is I'm holding the brush like this and it's nice thick lines kind of gives you that water effect that lines that you get in water anyway can see that it gets starts getting a bit tacky on the canvas so I'm added taking a bit more paint if you notice by doing this this using the brush this way you're creating nice lovely little lines Just imagine that's that's the um, tide coming in And then as it goes in to the beach, because I've added a bit of water now, so you see that it's a bit lighter in tone. Good. Adding a touch of water. Not too much. Just letting it come out. Don't worry too much about um, the line that we made earlier. That was just a guideline. Because otherwise you don't want the water to go all the way here. Then you kind of lose the, the shape. See what we've done we've done two tones this is the thicker um, by using the the paint without a lot of water and then by adding a bit of water as we go we've created two shapes without having to add any white or any more color to the mix okay I'm just gonna do the bottom bit as well oops got a bit that I forgot here See, that's that's quite quick and simple isn't it so we've done we've done the sky we've done the water okay now something okay just had a few things bits on my canvas take that out okay now I'm just gonna wash out my brush just to get rid of all the blues okay so you see, this is why the kitchen towel is so important because when you wash your brush and you tap on it like this, then you see how much paint that you have left. So when you're working with a lighter color, for example, after working with reds and blues or black and so on, you, you don't want 
you don't want this added color on your on your brush and then you find that oh god that's a streak of black or a streak of red so now you know i need to brush wash that brush again a bit more now tiny bit okay okay all right that'll do okay i'm happy with that now you notice how i just picked out the white from one area because that's going to give it give me um a purer bit of the white you know use it for the for the um brown uh to make the beach okay so now i'm just going to lift up tiny bit just a tiny bit very very tiny bit of white we're going to do the sky so i think i want sorry we're going to do the clouds let's see I think that's too much okay let's see let's put a let's put a cloud there now you see there's there's hardly any there's hardly any paint on it and that's the nice thing because and and the brush is is fairly dry now so i'm just dabbing a tiny bit of white around okay and then blending it into into the sky now what i'm going to do now is i'm just rubbing out i'm just rubbing out my brush into the kitchen towel so making it really dry there's no color in it so now i can literally just draw rub the brush nicely into the canvas it doesn't look like much at the moment but trust me just a tiny bit of white and then in a sort of sweeping motion like that barely there motion that it's just softly blending in and then I've got a bit more white that I'm just gonna dab I think it's gonna be the highlight because if you notice the clouds they, they're not they're not just white they have so many different textures and layers to them and this one's just tapering off a bit just a tiny bit whatever that's left i'm doing that okay tiny bit of white does a, goes a long way now i'm rubbing in tiny bit there I like this clean blue skies with just one or two clouds floating in the distance. Okay, just gonna take a, a bit more white, dabbing, 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 just to highlight. A bit of white. Now, obviously, I'm recording this now, but I hope to do a few lives if um, you guys want me to. I just need to build my confidence with that. <laughs> I'm just adding a tiny bit more just so that I could want it pop a little bit okay that's it it's important not to overdo it and you see I'm very conservative with how I'm with my white and also how I'm um, 
building up the clouds because I don't want it to be too, I want it to be subtle. Okay, that's just, that's kind of all we need now. All right. And if you feel you've made a mistake and you want, you just, oops, see, well, that's what I've done. <laughs> Talk about making mistakes. Okay, I picked up a bit of green there, so I'm just going to softly take that out. You have to watch when you're, um, when you're painting because you can easily just get, just going back with a bit of blue, you easily get distracted or whatever. So let's see, I'm going to go a tiny bit. of blue see i didn't actually make a mistake and then I, and then as i was talking about making a mistake i just made one <laughs> so you see i can recover from it so i'm just going back with a bit of bit of white light blue and then i've got no choice but to extend this the sky a bit because I made that mistake. I'm going back with some white. So this obviously wanted to be a bigger cloud. Okay. So if you make a mistake then you have spend more time trying to make it better. Let me just rub it in a bit. So try not make a mistake. So you, you see me make my mistake and see how I'm recovering from this. <laughs> oh, it'd be so funny if I was doing a live video and then this is happening and be like really flapping. No, I'm fine. I'm just mixing in some of my blue just so that I can cover up because I don't really want that. I don't really want that um I don't really want that cloud to be that big. Okay. I'll just painting a bit over. And a bit there. Go away. Come on cloud. Work with me. Don't be so annoying. Oh okay, there you go. I'll just get rid of it. Okay, that gives it a nice it's, it looks like a cloud anyway. It's just sort of blends into the into the background. It's got one we've got one beautiful cloud, okay? Now I, I can't see I can't see some of that from before, so I'm just going to blend in a little bit of white. Give it that feathery sort of feeling. Okay, so it's almost like there's a cloud coming. All right, that's all we need. Now I'm not going to fiddle with that cloud anymore. Because that will take more work. Okay, now we're going to leave the sea as it is for the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to blend. Um, okay, testing my, I've got a bit of water in my uh, brush, we're going to add in a bit of that white, a bit more water, and then a tiny bit of that burnt sienna. Just a tiny bit. A bit more white. So you see, just that tiny bit has sort of overpowered the white. So we just want to add a bit more. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is just going to start painting in this area here.
so do leave me a comment when you're painting you know if you have any questions I will be watching I will be watching the comments after I've posted this video you know, come let me know when you when you intend to paint if you have any questions and also please please don't forget to post a picture your of your painting so we can see what you know how you you've gone so this doing this video is quite odd for me because when i paint i'm really very um i kind of it's just just it's very mindful so i do tend to just sort of like go with it and, and i'm very quiet so talking while i'm painting is a challenge i have put some lovely soft reiki kind of music in the background which is the kind of music that i like painting too because it just gives me you know allows me i think painting is really mindful and and um relaxing and it just makes me just go into a really calm peaceful place and i tell you when i try to paint when i'm anxious or or um frustrated or angry or whatever um it doesn't it doesn't work well. <laughs> Just gonna paint the bottom bit as well. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it's got a bit of colour on it, that's nice. Add a bit of water. Now the thing with acrylics is that it does um dry really really fast so it is important to add keep adding uh oh i forgot my glue over there okay oops ah oh, honestly it gets so can't go can't do two things at a time okay nice thing about acrylics again okay doesn't actually matter you're gonna have trees there um is that if it's still wet you can do what i do get that um get that kitchen towel and dab and you're done okay as i said i'm not to worry about that that corner anyway because it's it's um going to be covered by trees so now we've got you know we've got we've got the sky done we've got the the water and we've got the beach painted okay now this is where um i, I still want to use this brush um I did show you the other two brushes but I want to um, I want to just show you with this brush what's capable what it's capable of now that beach needs a bit of shading so when it comes we're just going to create a few bits and pieces around because you know the beach is not completely flat it's always got a bit of um, the sand's always a bit um, lumpy in some bits so I'm just going to add a tiny bit see we've got a tiny bit of brown sienna into that mix that we already had because we we don't want it to be too different from the color that you already have so you see i'm just tested it just in the side so i'm putting I'm trying to brush in a little bit towards start pushing it into the water because that gives it that shadow okay just a bit 
now I think that might be just a touch too dark so I just just adding more mix adding a bit more okay I think this would be a good this is quite good this is quite a good shape so okay so I don't want too much I'm just cleaning my brush out washing it out a bit and then picking up a bit of that colour and going in with this sort of horizontal strokes and you see how I'm just working pushing in the colour from the darker colour that I already had okay so I'm just going to go back I think that dark colour works just tiny bit tiny bit it's almost like you're just going through the grooves to here I want it to blend in a bit so you notice that that it's so I've just dragged in drag it out a tiny bit there okay no just washing out my brush again so it's quite dry and just about here on really trying to pressing in the brush into the water taking in some of that brown because when it gets to the edge of the shore you find that the the water will take on some of the color of um, the it gets slightly more tr um, translucent and it takes on the color of the sand underneath so it's nice to just give it that little shade okay so much here imagine that there's a bit tiny little bit there that you can see okay let's see if it, it, just looking at this now can you see that it's it is already looking very beach like okay now i'm gonna again wet my brush and then wipe it with my kitchen towel and i'm just slowly very slowly trying to move that color out into the beach again to the beach wet that brush wet and white wet wet and white okay so this is what we're doing here oh it's a pesky piece of thread or something okay all right sorry i'm probably i'm talking to myself at this moment okay right okay so we've created a, a very beach effect at the moment now um, so I'm going to go back with this this brown this color that I've added more white to to create this color Okay, it's very it's a, quite a dry brush very little color in it And what I want to do is I just want to lightly Rub it into Beach creating some texture by moving it around so imagine that there's a slight dip rubbing it into the canvas so the color that i've picked up is quite light and by just gently rubbing it in i've just picked up a tiny bit now rubbing it in so it creates that dip again 
Okay. And then let's say it gets a bit more brush is too dry so wet it tap it take off a bit more color and then keep doing this i'm moving it out any direction i want so it's like almost literally rubbing it in a bit okay I've just taken out a bit more um, the slightly darker brown that I have and just lightly rubbing it in but it's because we've because we've worked we've created a few layers here by going back in again slightly dark it just very lightly adds another texture and layer to it so it's not overwhelming okay i'm just using the rest and and i'm um zoom this a bit where just tiny bits of brown and i just want to add a little bit of Design, design here, okay. A bit more. Now, let's see. Wet, wet the brush. Tap. Let's pick up. I'm using this brush because I like the lines that it can create. If you look at this, see how it can create nice lovely lines that's what we want for the beach okay we want some very lightly very light little lines and over here what we can do is make it a bit tiny bit darker there and then we're just going to add that 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 In fact, what you can do is you just you pick up your color, you know, go that, 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 that. Okay, that's not too dark, so I know that that's be perfect. Okay. What we do? I'm just making sure that you can still that this is still in frame. Okay. So that, 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 and then I want to make it look like if it was it's dipped. Tiny bit, and then a few lines. And I also want to add a bit darkness underneath, shade underneath the the um, waves. I'm going back with a bit of brown. those trees I'm gonna need a tiny bit of shade so just very lightly right over here as well you see now what I'm doing is just literally rubbing the color in okay when i paint i just go with it if i feel that hmm, i like that i like to do that an opportunity in the paint on the canvas 
I'm just going, going back a little bit lighter brown just to make it blend in better. So I'm just like it's so dark over there. Yeah. I'm just imagining that there's, there's something there that's making it look a bit Okay, I think that's that's enough. Now I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna do this at the bottom as well, just so that we've got. Don't want to feel anyone to feel left out. Okay, right. That's. We've got the beach, we've got the water, and we've got the sky. Okay, perfect. Now you do wash out the brush. Okay, quite. I think this kitchen towel has had its day, so I've got a new one <laughs> to come back to start afresh. Okay, right, perfect. Now we want to add a tiny bit of. I want to highlight. I want to highlight the C, okay? So, what we do is we're going to give it some waves, some you know, that foam in the water meets the shore. So, we're just gonna see that, 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 so that, 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 that. So, so bristols when it's dry it kind of spreads out a bit so it's really to our advantage because then when you're dabbing it just gets on like it, it just covers a larger area and it's very gives it that lovely effect beautiful effect now let's go back here. Lovely. And here as well. Let's just make this one big splash. Can go back a little bit more. Imagine that it's not um, moving my brush up a little just to give it that. It really has a really nice effect because because we haven't put a lot of color here. It's quite a, a lighter version of this, so it's when when you pull up the white it blends in and gives you a nice texture mm. okay a bit more over here as well just want to give it that 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 not too much just want to be a bit more conservative with the amount of foam that we're going to get with this I'm just sure now I want to just give it a few more you know sometimes when the wind flows it's not always in just one direction you might have like little stones or a, a, a groove that we might not 
be able to see. So I just want to add tiny bits here and there. Too much, too, too much um, white, but it's okay. Oh, there it is. And tiny bits here and there, okay? And maybe you might have, I just want to lighten. So I have hardly any paint in my brush. And that is fantastic because I can just create those little see I see those little gaps lines when I was painting and that just works to my advantage because I can make beautiful little textures in the water that's all you need okay done so get out sometimes this um i've had these brushes for a while so sometimes if you um put them in water for too long then the color tends to flake and then you know when i'm painting they irritate me okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same um touch of highlight in the water and again i'm just you know i'm just tapping into my into my paint and i'm going to say what right, just add very dry brush tiny bits of white tiny bit of white just to give it a bit of highlight because this this I think is a little mound so I'm just gonna go over a bit a bit white see that makes it pop okay and again this might be a little groove in the sand so by adding a tiny just just tiny just yeah very little what I found is that especially with beginners you think that because it's you're painting then there is a um, tendency to put too much you know to take as much paint as possible but the, the 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 thing is that you don't actually you can have such a tiny bit of of color on your brush and create beautiful things Because if you put too much, then it becomes a block of color, and and then you can't see, you can't really make that um, the light and the shade. So just very, very little. Okay. Just thinking. Okay, this this is obviously a bit of a dip. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Just a line. Another. a tiny bit that's all that's all sorry my voice is probably just going a bit softer and softer as we go because i'm start. i feel like i'm starting to talk to myself <laughs> might be a bit different when i do my lives because then i know that i'm be interacting with you guys and i can see um see what you're saying as well okay quite, quite happy with this um over here just want to blend it in a bit more okay just blend it a bit more okay that's that's done now we're going to go to the green okay i'm going to go to the green um the first thing i'm going to do is um i want to i want 
to i'm gonna add okay i know i should have shown this earlier but i'm gonna add a tiny bit of um yellow just a bit of yellow to my palette let's put that away safely okay got primary yellow here and um the reason for this is that we're going to mix just pull out a bit of that yellow and a bit of that green to mix a lighter version of that of that um green i find that's too dark okay so you do is start off by dab 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 all the way you can do you can do this as well let it sort of dance and get some time just a little bit smaller as it goes in the distance okay all right okay. done all right now i'm gonna add a bit more yellow to the side i'm just dabbing the green we're not washing the brush we're just adding a tiny bit of green into the that lighter green that we just created now I can see that color there okay now towards the front imagine that the light is coming from this this um is, is hitting this way so we're just going to go on and dab 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 tiny bits it's important to layer um especially when you're doing something like this just give it it makes it more interesting and you see as i'm doing this i'm just giving trying to shape shape it up a bit as well because just want to you know they are i suppose trees or bro, uh, bushes who knows what they are they can be anything so by starting off with a darker color we've given it the base the foundation and when we go with the lighter color it just looks like it's you know it's got it's got different tones and makes it more realistic Although this is just for fun, just a bit of abstract. You see it's picking up some different, there's a bit of yellow in there. So it's just picking up all the different colours that I have on my, on my brush. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to flip it and then continue on the side. As I say, remember, if you hang it, you can then see the it's like a wrap around effect all right now i'm at this stage i'm going to wash my brush okay um it's got a little bit of green and it's fine absolutely fine okay now what we're going to do so we go back with a bit of yellow tiny bit of yellow and just go and and pick up add some yellow just here and there just here and there just to give it a bit of a highlight let's remind ourselves that it's a warm sunny day in a beach somewhere that we can't be on right now because of the coronavirus i hope that you're all keeping safe and uh, trying to keep sane and and i hope that this uh video and the videos that i will be doing will help in some way you know we all like a project don't we and and there's a point where the garden gets a bit if you've, you've done all you can for the to resuscitate the the garden <laughs> and um you've watched everything on netflix and uh then you go oh what next 
so and you know everything that there is to know about everyone in the family because they've been whatsapping and skyping and 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 zoom whatever and you go like oh my god i'm going stir crazy so hopefully this can be one of the things that you are doing so you see i'm i'm using the the bristles of the brush because it's sort of separated and i'm just moving it out like little lines out okay just to give that an idea okay i think i'm quite happy with that to be honest um now what i'm gonna do now is just picking up i'm picking up a tiny bit of that of that dark green and i'm gonna go under I'm just going to go underneath, dabbing in some of that dark green. To give it a little bit of shade. Here and there. Dab, 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 dab. Very often there's no rhyme or reason why I'm doing some things like now. I'm just thinking, oh, well, okay, needs a bit of shade, a bit more shade. And then I'm going, right, okay, I think I lost a bit of that of that highlight, so I'm gonna go back a bit. Okay. And then just a dab of the yellow. Now I wanna go back a bit in the yellow again, just at the top, just right at the top, because we obviously the sky is is of eating up the the green a bit. I can see it's, it's drying, but it's getting a bit too um, sameish. Okay. Now that's. I think I'm not going to touch it now. I think that's perfect. Okay. The beach looks lovely. Beach looks lovely. What else do I want to add? I'm just about finished, but you know I like to meddle, so <laughs> so I'm looking for my black. All right, so um, any kind of black will do. Okay. Yeah, you gotta have an Angela medal here. If you've been to my classes, you know that I like adding a few things. Okay, now I'm just gonna pick up some of my black. Add a tiny bit of water, not too much. Okay, now I do like to keep my brush as um, clean as possible so that you, know, you don't get too much colour all around it. Okay, now this is a bit of detail. Okay, imagine that this there's a tree, like a little dead tree. Little branches. I'm just putting very thin lines. almost like it's the bottom of trees I will put a photograph of it of, of the details in the comment so that you can see the detail clearly okay just another one Now I do like I do like having some birds. It's always these birds flying around, aren't they? So let's put a bird 
up there and one over there right then oh, it's always in trees so let's say let's make another one here okay it's a bit wonky one because you can't actually see very well here okay that's it we've got some trees and then just over there let's put like a like a little um like a jetty oh, do i know how to draw one right, okay here goes straight line okay Look. Take the line, another one. Okay. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I want to do more lines in it but then it might look a bit weird so I'm just going to hold it up a bit closer to myself so I can't see old age so what I'm going to do hope you can see I'm just going to make this line a little thicker looks like a sort of a jetty I suppose um, I did want to do a little tiny um, boat or all oh, right okay I tell you what just oh this is where I start meddling and and then I get annoyed with myself and but then I feel like I need to do this so I'm just mixing in a tiny bit of brown with a little black to create this sort of a dark brown okay and i'm just at the end of this i'm creating a little line here and then i'm gonna do not this brush i need this second brush like a little hill in the distance it's only because it frames the the picture nicely but also because um we kind of lost that that skyline okay so i just like adding little things like that and just do the sides as well Maybe a few, since I've got the brown, just doing a few lines here and there. And look, you don't have to do everything, but you know I like meddling, so I'm, I'm just adding a few bits and pieces. I like a bit more shade underneath, underneath the foam. Makes it more interesting. It's like when you're, when you're looking at when you're finished and then you're also it's, it's always good to sort of stop and and look and see what else could you know what could i do to make this better and then you go oh i could have done that yeah that's what i need to do i see now by by adding more shade underneath the foam um it looks it re it's really popping okay i'm just adding just letting it go a bit more right and then right that's it 
going to stop meddling. I you know a lot of you are probably watching this and laughing to be like, oh my god, look at Angela. This is how she paints. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to uh, show me your finished painting. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will definitely be reading it. And let's have a close up. Um, oh my God, I'm trying to figure out what's the best way, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you. This is the detail. This is the top bit. The sky, the birds, the beach, okay, and there you go, fantastic. So have a go and tell me how it went, alright, cheers, bye.